Oh yes, I've got something crazy, funky, and weird for you today. <laughs> so we're gonna be using this bin lid thing, it's a tub, to create our funkiness. I've no idea how this is gonna turn out, as always, but we're gonna give it a bash and see what we can make. I just had a strange urge for cheese. I got a funny feeling this is going to take a while. Wow, <laughs> this is taking quite some time. So that is that is just one of those. Um, it is taking quite a while to do this. So I might need to try and come up with something a bit more faster because I'm going to be here for ages. thousand years later and it's done <laughs> we got there uh it took me ages <laughs> with this little uh cheese grating thing but that was much better um than this one <laughs> this one was taking me ages um so there we go that looks pretty cool look at that that does look pretty neat um could probably use this type of stuff in a in a different project one day, another day, I mean another project, you know what I mean. <laughs> so this looks really cool, I really like this. This is going to look pretty funky I think. So I've got that laid in there now, uh, what I'm going to try and do now is mix up some resin. I'm going to be using Entropy's resin, and if you're a member of Maker Central, you'll get 10% off that. Happy days. <laughs> Now because we can't put this project in the pressure pot, because it's too big, I'm going to be using the slow hardener from Entropy Resins, because that way we won't get any bubbles. It's like baking a lovely cake. Right, so this is now ready to set. Uh, I've just made sure it's all level because I want to make sure that it's level. <laughs> um, so uh, that is now ready. I think it looks pretty cool in there. So I'm hoping that's going to look quite smart when it's done. Uh, we're not finished by far yet, but we'll come back in the morning. Oh, yeah. Right, this is now dry. Happy days. Um, looks kind of cool and funkadelic. Um, kind of looks a bit like all bees, doesn't it? But it's not. <laughs> it's crayon. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get um, this plastic sheet. I'm going to try to insert it in the centre so that we can put some more resin around the side. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so that is now sealed up fairly well, I think. I hope. <laughs> um, so now what we're going to need to do is fill some more resin down here, but only only so far up. I'm not going to go, obviously, mad. Um, but the idea is we've got to try and get or make sure that this uh, crayon is going to float in resin. And that's what we need to check out first. <laughs> Otherwise, it's all going to just float down to the bottom. No. <laughs> it's it's going to sink down to the bottom, and that's going to be no good. So, I'm kind of hoping that it's going to float. Right, so we need to just make sure that this is going to float. So I'm going to put a little bit of this crayon, grated crayon, into this and mix it up. I do think it's going to float. <laughs> At least I hope it is. Right, so that is kind of what we want, but obviously a little bit more probably crayon in there. Can you see that? So that is floating at the moment. So as long as it doesn't sink to the bottom... We're on to a winner. I'm going to leave that there for about 10 minutes or so. And if it's still floating around in there, then happy days. Okay, it doesn't actually sink. Kind of more floats, which are kind of, that was, yeah, I suppose it would have floated really, rather than sink, wouldn't it? If that's what we said, I can't remember what I said now. <laughs> but either way, we didn't want it to sink or float. Um, it's, I mean, it's still there, um, but it's, a lot of it has floated, so, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to be after a few hours, um, you know, and even longer overnight, where the whole lot will just come to the top, and that will be no good. But do we just take the punt? Let's give it a bash. Stay tuned for this one. Okay, so we've had a bit of a boo-boo. So I used the wrong hardener. <laughs> oh, man. And I used the fast hardener, not the slow one. I should have used the slow one because the slow one allows you to pour a lot more resin. Um, and I, I used the wrong one. Uh, so it's kind of like, as you can see, it's all kind of, well, I don't know, really. Sort of swelled up, bubbled up. Not really what we sort of planned. So, but I don't know what it's going to look like yet until I open it up. I potentially could chop it off and start again using the slow hardener. I don't know. Just going to have to kind of open this up and see what we've got. So let's do that. be all right you know it looks all right inside here maybe we might be able to salvage this i know it's gone a bit funny there but that's okay that's okay we can work with that oh yeah come on let's get this out of this thing now <laughs> if it will come out <laughs> i don't know if it will probably won't no my luck You know what? I don't think it's going to come out of this very easily. So um, it's kind of a fairly cheap bin lid thing. So I'm probably just going to cut it open. I think it's probably safer rather than me trying to bang it and break the project. We don't want to do that.
all the mess <laughs> that this sanding does to my workshop. The place is covered. It's one thing I don't like is sanding. It makes so much mess. Worth a trumpet blow? Just a little one. Well, there it is, folks. The grated, melted crayon table. Now, I know what you're thinking. You didn't melt it, Nick. Kind of look is like a melted look. That's what I was kind of going for. So, yeah, grated. Um, and I wanted to see how it was going to be in resin. I've done a little pot before with crayons. Um, and that come out all right. On a larger scale, I think it was quite tricky to um, sand because obviously it's wax, so it doesn't sand. <laughs> so what I did is coated it with resin. That turned out pretty nice. It's given a really nice glossy finish to it. Um, and it's pretty cool, actually. I was going to make the legs myself, but I found this really funky looking <laughs> metal kind of cage that I've had hanging around for ages. So I thought I'd use that. Actually, it does look pretty funky. Well, it was kind of like an experiment, folks. So um, I hope you don't mind that one. It was, um, I enjoyed doing it. I probably, probably would have liked it to be a bit more shinier. But again, it won't shine up because you can't sand it. Because we all love sanding, you know. I had this one in my head uh, for, for a little while, really. Um, well, since kind of I did that crayon pot that I, I did a little while ago, the tiny little pot. I might make some more of those actually, but not just crayons. Maybe we can mix up some other different funkiness to go in the lid. Got this in the post. We love Nick. I love you too. This looks really cool actually. It's like loads of bits of material, like lots of bits of material, all sealed in resin. How cool is that? I also got this in the post. Thanks, Melinda. I won't have nightmares tonight. And this. It's a horse. Kind of. From the Man of Crafts. Cheers, Man of Crafts. Well, <laughs> I won't waffle on too long. Now, I know that you guys love the... Love... 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 Love the waffles. Uh, so I appreciate that. But the extra content that you see up is extra content. Um, sometimes I put it up because I haven't managed to get my video finished. So I'd rather put something up for you than not. And then also I get some requests for people that don't like the music and the waffles. Now I know a lot of you do. So again, don't worry, I'm not changing the channel in any way, shape or form. I'm always going to talk and waffle, trust me. Um, but this is just extra videos. You've seen them before, they are just cut down versions uh, without me talking without any music in them uh, so <laughs> so if you see something like that pop up please watch it because it obviously helps me in the channel 
Um, but you know, it is extra content for, for those that like it. Some do, some don't. Chocolate, chocolate. If you like this one, please could you share the video? That really does help the channel. And also what does help the channel, because this is my full-time job now, is if you do check out my sponsors. Raid Shadow Legends is a great game, it's free to play. You may as well check it out, why not? And also you'll be helping support me and my channel and the things that I do for you. I'd love to continue to do this uh, full time. Obviously, I do uh, run Makers Central as well, which is on next year, by the way, May 1st and 2nd. Be there or be square. But with COVID and everything else happening, we've come to a bit of a grind halt. But, you know, we're getting back into action now. And no doubt, because we didn't run the show this year, next year's show is gonna be massive. <laughs> we have so many dedicated fans and followers of Maker Central. People come in from all over the world to meet other makers like me and Jimmy and Bobby and all sorts of people from everywhere. And not only that, we've got like talks and demos. We've got shops there, you can buy things. And it's just a really great gathering of all makers of all kinds, of all walks of life. People come from all over, Australia, USA, Germany, France, Mars, Switzerland. It's just an amazing event. Two days, come and join us, grab a ticket. The link for Maker Central is below. And if you fancy being a member of Maker Central, check that out as well. Loads of perks for you. If you fancy joining up as a member. Well, I'll love you and leave you folks. Have a fantastic, funky, crazy, weird weekend thanks to all my new subscribers that have come over to this crazy channel to watch me be weird and strange welcome obviously thanks to all my old subscribers that have stuck around but the channel keeps growing and we get closer and closer to one million subscribers <laughs> i really want to get to that one million folks so please help me share this video so stick around and let's see if we can get to one mil before Maker Central, that's the pact. The pact is, I've got to get to a million before I hit that show next May. Come on, we can do this. I've got some crazy projects in the pipeline, but I'll stop waffling now and I'll let you get on with your weekend, because it's Friday night, baby, and it's time to party. Check me out on Instagram. I've also opened up my personal Instagram for you folks, if you fancy digging in to what I do outside the shop. Check out where I get my resin from, Entropy Resins, Yorkshire Grit, Epidemic Sound, where I get my music from, and tons of other links down below for you. Have a fab weekend, folks. Take care, and I'll see you all really soon.